Hello everyone, today I'm making string bean stew biryani or snebunchi biryani. Okay, here I have my pot with about a couple of tablespoons of oil. And now I'm going to add... I have two large onions just chopped up, two chilies, the chilies is optional. And at this stage you can add uh, allspice or a clove or even a stick cinnamon there's people who add that in but i'm gonna add no whole spices at all guys it is storming outside <laughs> and the request today in the house by my family members was they are craving snei bunchi bridi so that's what i'm gonna make anyways let's start put it in so now this is just about browning the onions and then browning the meat it's all about getting everything brown also guys this is my cookbook our cookbook and all the recipes are in here uh, if you look at the description box below you can purchase it on our website or, or you can get it online as well on take lot in south africa and you can get it at all your leading bookstores. Okay. Here we go. I'm also now busy with my third cookbook. Okay. So now, I'm just gonna brown this, like really brown it, and then I'm gonna add my meat and brown that with. You can brown your meat separately. Like do your onions first or your meat first and then your onions. But I'm just gonna go old school like my mommy did and did everything to, we just do everything together. Okay, and we'll be right back. Guys, this is my favorite view. <laughs> I have, the kitchen is quite big and there's another cooker on the other side. I've got two ovens and two cookers, two gas stop cookers. Uh, this is my cozy corner. I just, something, about it <laughs> someone also requested uh i do a tour of the kitchen and my essentials and what i do i'll do another video of that and um what else yeah oh and someone asked do you put the lid on if i in, if i don't indicate not to put the lid on then you always put the lid on okay am, am i explaining that right yeah like that Give it a stir. Okay, so the onions have cooked nicely. I'm gonna add, I added the meat. That's a kilogram and a half of, uh, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of garlic. Tablespoon of black pepper. And a teaspoon of salt. So the garlic, it is optional. The salt is to your taste, uh, but black pepper. So take my advice. <laughs> With the breedy, the black pepper is the star. It will always be the star. Okay. Oh, you know, for the deal, sorry. <laughs> Okay, now this will cook now very slowly until everything is brown and um, then I'm going to add about two cups of water and I'm going to cook it for an hour until it's tender. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to add my water. And I'm going to just uh, cook on a medium heat for about an hour, okay? And what you do is you come every 10 minutes or 15 minutes and come stir. And when the water is completely cooked away, uh, you just check the meat if it's tender. And if not, just add a little bit more water, okay? And we'll be right back. 
Okay, so it's been an hour and um, I've also made some white rice. It's busy steaming away in the microwave. I've also made some sly earlier in the week. And if you're looking for the sly recipe, it's um, in one of the videos on the playlist. Okay. So now I'm gonna add my potatoes. The amount of potatoes is really up to you. The size of the potatoes depends on your meat and how tender it is. If you test your meat now, and you see it's a tender, quite tender, you cut your potatoes smaller. If you test your meat and you can taste or feel with a spoon, okay, it's not that tender full of the bone, then you can cut your potatoes bigger. Okay, there's a tip. In with the potatoes, and if you're a big family, just add extra potatoes. That's how we roll. Extra mouths. Cook another cup of rice and throw a, a extra potato in. I'm gonna add more black pepper. I'm gonna add one kilogram of string beans that's just cut up. You can um, cut it any size you like. Um, you know, in the olden days, um, my mommy and including myself and my granny, we'd sit with a a menorah blade and cut it like like this chick, 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 chick. Um, I've opted not to do that because I'm a bit clumsy and I'll probably menorah blade my fingers off okay where's the water 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 and now like with any food that has potatoes in let me just add about two cups of water, two, one and a half, two cups of water, depending how big your pot is, the amount of food. Oh, and if you're a smaller family, you can definitely just half all the ingredients and make a smaller pot. But I'm so used to making a lot of food. I like to have extra the next day if you want for lunch. And this is going to cook until the potatoes are soft about 30 30 35 minutes depending and uh, we'll be right back Okay guys, you see there's the rest of the kitchen for people who wanted to see. <laughs> uh, there's my other oven. Uh, there's my other corner. Well, I don't want to show too much because it's, you know, when you cook, <laughs> then there's always a mess. Okay, I'm try I try to clean as I go. Right up. And here it is. Eh. Ooh, frikadel. Snee breedy. Put this down. And I made some rice. Okay. That's just basmati rice that I've cooked for 10 to 12 minutes and then strained it with cold water and then I put it in this container with a lid on I put it in the microwave for 10 minutes and there you have your fluffy basmati rice okay so I'm gonna dish now oh, like I said it's cold outside and it's raining raining cats and dogs the wind is howling so much so that one tile from the roof blew off and fell on the ground and cracked in half. Okay, now I've dished some rice and I'll lick it at the bowl. I love potatoes. Sorry guys about the steam. This is a quiet phone, a very good phone. So it goes into that. Okay. At the pole, a piece of meaty. Look at that. I'm um, over the 
snape and cheese okay sorry missing i'm doing everything with one hand <laughs> and then of course the bitchy slime you can add any side condiment you like i like to i like slime with it uh, normally i have cucumber sli uh, salad with this cucumber pickle sorry <laughs> blooper <laughs> but yeah this is just leftover slime there we go and now going in I don't know about you guys, but I like to squash my potato into the rice, bitchy sly. Now oh, she's watering. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Guys, thank you so much for watching, for tuning in, for all the comments and likes. Um, I'm, I read them all. Don't worry. I just don't have the time to answer them all. So please go to my channel, Fatima Cider Cooks, and subscribe. Please that bell button. And yes, and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>